What's up guys, it's Lomar the Monte here, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing on Dronzer Spiral Spread Trans. So, this Beyblade is based off the original Plastic Gen 1, which was released in 2001, I am pretty sure, and here's mine. It has the mode changing tip, or performance tip, whatever, whatever you want to call the uh, blade base. And I'm extremely happy to have this, because I am a huge fan of the Plastic Generation. I try to get as much as I can when I see it. And to see this remade is great. So, let's get into the packaging of it. So, on the top you can see that it has the uh, Bayway 15th animation uh, image. I'm just showing that briefly there, you can see. Uh, that's because it's been 15 years since the original, I think, is what they're celebrating for the anime. Then over here we have uh, the owner of Dronzer, which is Kai Hirateri. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, we can see on the top the uh, the mode change gimmick because it's a uh, trans which has the attack mode which is whole flat and the stamina mode which is uh, a survive like uh, driver tip. Uh, we can see the abbreviation for Dronzer which is DZ. Inside it shows it, it talks about how it's the remake, and then it shows the parts in on the back here. So. We have the layer, which is DZ, spread, which is the disc, and then the driver, which is trans. The recommended combo here is Dronzer S, Polish Hold. Uh, not sure how good that would be since I don't own it. Over here, it shows the parts again, and for some reason, the uh, Dronzer S layer doesn't show the stickers, but on the other side, it did. It'll, here, it talks about the app, and that's all you really need to know about this. So, let's just get right into the unboxing. So... Ah oh, man, I can't wait to open this. I actually don't have scissors here. Okay, so I actually don't have scissors right here, but I have a pair of sharp tweezers, which is good enough. There we go. I'm gonna try to open this gently because I really want to keep the box for this. Ah, there we go. Hope I didn't damage that box too badly. And let's open it up and, oh my gosh. Oh, yes! So, here it is in the packaging. Dronzer S Spread Trans. And then, uh, here's the stickers. I'll put those on after the unboxing. So, here it is. Let's get into the parts here. So, here it is in the plastic wrap. And let's get to the layer first, which is Dronzer S, or DZ for short, as they abbreviated. So, here's the layer. Looks like the original attack ring, as you can see. Much uh, smaller. The uh, bit chip positioning has changed, because uh, it should be like this, I'm pretty sure, uh, as you can see. But they changed it probably for whatever reason. To fit the uh, gap here for the launcher. Yeah, that's uh, that's how it looks. Very nice. It's very thick uh, compared to the original attack ring. You can see that the attack ring here is uh, very thin. Compared to this, which is probably twice as thick, if not three times. Um, large contact point at the top of each wing, as you can see. And the teeth on it. It's hard to see because I'm just using my iPad. But those are the teeth of Nova Neptune, which are actually pretty good teeth for balance type. But uh, from what I see, that it's self bristle, and I think it's because of how large this contact po uh, these contact points are, and that I can't handle the uh, recoil, I would say, or the burst recoil, and that it needs some better teeth. But uh, looks good. I'll put that aside. I'm gonna go to. Uh, the spread disc and here we are the spread disc this originally came on spread and spread fusion and we also got it on the valkyrie spread uh, survive booster and we've gotten so many other releases that it I am not even going to talk about it but here we are spread you can see it's fairly thin it's good for stamina and uh, burst defense. I like it, so I think it's good. 
I'll put that there for now. Now onto trans. I don't have trans, so uh, that's actually really good. And here we are. Here's trans in the dark blue color. It's supposed to emulate the uh, change base of Dronzer S. As you can see here, it has the metal sharp. It's not very visible, but you can see it there. And then with this one, uh, right now it's in attack mode. But if I get this part and I switch it uh, clockwise, you can see that the sharp part pops up. That's a bit of a tongue twister. So I twist it and then it's going to go back. And again, you can see. So very nice. I like that it's in the dark color. Uh, it's about the same shade as the original base. And I like that it actually isn't translucent like the other ones are. Or, uh, yeah, translucent. Because it looks more like the original. So, there's the parts, and let's put it together. That looks so nice. I actually really like how this looks. Compared to the other burst bay, it's very different. I'll go grab one for reference right now. So, here's some uh, bays for reference. Here's Wild Wyvern. You can see how it has the clear plastic and the um, solid purple plastic color ring, however you want to say that. And you can see that this doesn't have any of that, which I like. And it's more true to the original one. And uh, there's also here, Dark Test Cypher compared. You can see that it's actually as pretty much as thick as the clear plastic, if not just a bit smaller. But, you know, that's fine. It looks really good. And compared here, assembled, it looks as good as it can get for our uh, current burst system. Looks, It actually looks really good, and I'm happy that uh, I was able to get this. I don't think I mentioned it in my uh, mail time number two video, but this was actually sent to me by Zanki. So I want to thank Zanki for sending me this because I actually really wanted this and I was having a hard time buying this. And he sent one to me, so I'm really grateful. Uh, I'll probably link Zanky's channel in the description, and you guys should go check him out if you haven't already. I think most of you may have already uh, seen some of Zanky's videos. So anyways, that's my review on it, and my final opinion before I close off this video is that I think it's worth it, because the box looks great, which shouldn't be a factor, but I mean, seeing Kai Howard Terry there is great. Oh, and uh, that's also the same image they used for the 2001 box. Uh, it looks great. Uh, the trans driver, you know, the driver, it's good. Spread is also good. And while the attack layer may not be great, um, I can't say anything because I haven't used it. I just unboxed it. I think that it is actually, it's just worth it because it's such a great looking Beyblade and also has good parts. So if you don't have Spread of Trans, you should pick this up. So anyways, thanks for watching. I'm Lamar Devante, and this is Drawn's Burst version.